thank you. I think we should move on to the next um, presentation. Um, it's going to be very different, but at the same time, you will probably see also some uh, similarities. Um, in ASHA, we, fi we find it very important to um, advocate for open schools. And by open schools, people mean different things. Um, if we can have the poll question, uh, it is about uh, open schools, um, whether you consider your own school to be a very open one, somewhat open or not open, or probably it's not um, applicable in your own uh, environment. But what we are going to see in the next presentation, which is uh, a Norwegian example from Firda, Norway, is a literally open school, which is relatively unusual. I would like to welcome um, the school head, Hager Hansen, and uh, his colleague, uh, Jürgen um, Dovik Hosbin. I hope I pronounced the name well. And I also asked them to talk a little bit about um, the inclusion strategy of Norway, because this is the other country where uh, inclusion in education is a very important uh, part of education policy. So it's a very supportive uh, education policy environment that you work in. The floor is yours. Let's see here if you can find the screen. There we put put it on share. You can see it all. Hello, yes. can you? It's okay. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Hello. It's uh, from um, Sandane in western part of Norway. Uh, very interesting to uh, listen to the uh, to. Um, that has been uh, before us, uh, and um, we are uh, excited to introduce our uh, program at our school. It's about uh, open school, a uh, way or to include. Feda uh, Videregående School is an upper secondary school with um, 390 stu students. Um, 60 of these students are foreigners. Um, representing about uh, 16 countries. Uh, the types of education at the school uh, is uh, general studies, uh, sports, music, dance, and drama. And in um, addition to these types of, uh, we also offer a course for healthcare workers and a course for dental secretaries. And these offers are meant for adult non-native speakers. And we also have an uh, offer for young minority group with special needs, a course in uh, basic subjects for secondary school. And we have uh, students from uh, 27 different municipalities and 180 of our students live in private boarding. Um, we, uh, FEDA is founded on uh, these values, uh, dialogue, responsibility, uh, diversity and mastery. And we, we want to include the students in the work with the fundamental documents for the school. And the last years we have worked both with the values, the development plan and we have completed an external school evaluation. And the, the different uh, processes have been very important both for the school, the employees, and the students. In this picture, you can see how we worked with the value dialogue. We tried first to find out what do the value mean for us, and also we define what do this value mean for the students, and what do this value mean for the employees at the school. And recently we, we have updated our development plan. We focused on five different areas, the student, training, leadership, complicity, buildings and constructions. For the different areas, we have defined strategy, strategy and quality goals. And one strategy, strategy for, for students are the students' voice are to be heard. 
and the quality goal, the student's voice leads to change and development. Um, and also we, we have had an external school evaluation. This is also a process where the students work together with the employees. First, we started together with the students to search for an area to focus on. And, and the students wanted to work with relationship. This is a very important subject and the teacher agreed. And, and one of the goals was to make an agreement about um, a type of future picture for the school. And uh, together with the students, we agreed that our future picture should be to see each other, fundament for learning and development. And we made uh, uh, quality goals uh, uh, for the students, for teachers, and for the leaders. Um, and uh, on the, this picture, we can see what quality goals we had for the students and for the teachers, and also signs for good practice. Um, and this is a, a kind of um, uh, the, the, the um, bottom for, for this uh, open school. Uh, uh, it's an, uh, one of the activities for inclusion at our school. Uh, we have worked with open school for about 20 years. Uh, the idea is to make school to be more than a school. We wanted to do something to make school to a living place for the students also after school time. And the, the idea was created especially because so many students uh, live in uh, private boardings. Uh, the students' involvement have always been very important at the school and especially at the open school. Um, together, our staff and the students, students uh, work hard to make open school to be a good place for the students. Three days a week, uh, Liv Wingen, our community worker, have her job at school from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. Her job is to be there for the students. Sometimes she makes food for them, sometimes she has some arrangements, and sometimes she are there so the students can have somebody to talk with. Uh, and and the, uh, one special thing is that the students can use the school also in the free time, and they have the key card to the school. The students can go into the school and use the school, the classroom, the instruments in the afternoon and in the, in the evening. And uh, many day, days when I leave school after work, work, I can see that the students, they come back to school and they use the school. They, uh, they come together and, uh, and in the evenings, uh, in the winter time, we can see um, light from the classrooms almost uh, every evening. Uh, and uh, we think open school is a place uh, where you can come and find other students to stay with or find an adult to talk with also. We see that open school is very important for many of the students. And here is also a very important value. We give trust and we get trust back. Uh, and in my time here, we have not had any trouble with the open school and that students have the key card to the buildings. It's a very good thing. We can also see that the students get a kind of ownership to the school. And we think this is an important thing for the total school culture. Um, we also have a, a kind of a student mentors uh, and the, the important thing with the student mentors is that they in a system, system, systematic way, way uh, work to be there 
for the younger students. So the students in class two and three are challenged to um, be there for the youngest students. And the mission is to make school to be a good place to be for the youngest ones. We, when we have worked uh, with different areas in the school, we see that if we work with one area, it will have consequences for many other areas. Example, when we work with relationship, that work will have consequence for how to lead a class, for student conversation, how to work with feedback, how to work with different methods, and so on. So these illustrations tell something about how different areas in the school work together. And the conclusion is that we always must have a project at the school where the goal is to be a little better and better for the students best. And good luck to all of you with an important job. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Um, we already have some comments, actually. Um, it's uh, about uh, using the school as a community center. Yep. Uh, and also, there was a comment about uh, values and culture. Let's see here. Would you like to comment on that? Yeah. Um, um, the place where we're from is a fairly small place in the rural part of Norway, so um, I can see it from the question here. I really like the idea of using the school as a community center and of course the inherent trust it requires from both sides. Uh, small place, we're about 2,000 inhabitants in the city center and I think that uh, it's a, I'm not sure if this could have worked in a bigger city. Um, Maybe, maybe not. Uh, different. Uh, I live uh, personally um, about um, a five minute hike away from uh, school. And uh, it's a fairly short walk if uh, the kids uh, need us to open a door or help them out or, yeah. So, uh, but by letting them take ownership to the school, uh, giving, trusting them with their own key cards, uh, we uh, urged them to uh, get home by uh, a little bit before midnight so they can get some sleep. Uh, but uh, we have kids uh, who use all night long for preparation for a test or uh, if they have a concert the next day, they uh, stay at the, the school all night as well. And we're okay with that. Yeah, well, one of our participants is really, well, I think I also asked that question three times when I made the case study. Do the kids <laughs> have the keys to the school? <laughs> yeah, they do. And uh, we also are a very important part of uh, the community, uh, not just for the kids uh, going as uh, students here. And uh, so I think... Yep. There's a yes. question about the keys to the school, and that's right, the, the students have the key, and they can uh, use the classrooms, they can use instruments for many very expensive instruments and uh, and uh, as I said we give trust to them and they give trust back that's a very important uh, part of uh, of this uh, thinking well I think it's really amazing uh, they, the, the next poll question is actually about whether this could work in your own environment uh, which well, probably people will think about their own big city smaller town, yeah. village uh, environments, but well, probably you can trust more than you think. Uh, well, the kids have uh, very good resources of taking responsibility, uh, both for their everyday uh, life and for their own learning. Uh, so we try to, when we plan the learning activities and the whole year, we try to include the kids in where to put tests uh, where do we put the um, uh, uh, mock exams, stuff like that, so they can plan uh, for a better uh, everyday life and give us feedback if what we think is the same thing that they think. Uh, 
what we have done recently is, uh, I, I guess this is not only a problem in Norway, but uh, kids spend a lot of time playing computer games. And they lock themselves uh, kind of in their dark basements and uh, uh, spend uh, all evening and all night playing computer games. So instead of uh, pointing a finger at them and saying no, we invite them in school. So we have bought uh, computer games here. We have PlayStations, we have a Nintendo Switch. And two weeks ago, uh, they had a computer party here where we had uh, 20 students who spent 24 hours so get used to uh, uh, community cinema and have big computer um, competitions where they sit together and play Mario Kart and similar. So instead of kind of pointing the finger, we uh, open our arms and welcome them in kind of mentality. Oh, great. Thank you very much. I think that uh, the question about the picture on your book probably be answered in writing. Um, and I would suggest to move on to the last speaker. Because